bring you another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to animate optical flares. So we have our optical flare here and our uh, photo here. I'm too lazy to twix or clip, so I'm just going to use it as an example. We're going to drag the optical flare on top of it and go to compositing mode and click add and it should overlay like that. It should be easy. Now what you want to do is go to video vent panthers crop and make it smaller and what you want to do is zoom out by using your scroll button and you can see it's getting smaller and smaller and put it to the size that you want to. Also make sure these two are checked or else it wouldn't work so. Let's see how small. Okay I want mine this small. That's pretty good. And now you want to move it to where you want it to be. Like if you want it to be on the top of the scope, you can put it right there. No, I'll just uh I'll just put it right here. That looks pretty good. But you know, it, it looks horrible if the optical flare is not anim animated, so I'm going to go to video effects and go to brightness and contrast and add very bright. And now you'll see this really crappy um, outline of your actual picture. And what you want to do is add some contrast to make sure the square is canceled out. And that's pretty much my secret on how to do that. What you want to do is click animate. And then maybe you want to put it back to zero. And let's see how that looks like. So you just, you pretty much animated an optical flare. Which looks pretty cool. And now you can keep on doing that for as long as you want. You can just copy and paste the keyframes. Control and C and control V to copy and paste them. Now you obviously want some uh, variables in them so you want you might want to make the interval smaller and sometimes the intervals bigger to have more var variety into them and I'm just going to copy and paste this one more time and let's see how that looks like. And that's how you could do this on moving clips I'm just doing it on a picture as a demonstration but that's how you uh, animate optical flares by using overlays instead of the actual uh, lens flare effect right here for two is it to do that because I'm still trying to figure out how to use these these are really hard to use but uh, overlays are really easy I just keyframe brightness and contrast to animate optical flares so that's it thanks for watching